Hi and welcome to the first tutorial. I'm going to show you how to create uh, a track and um, how to operate with the interface and interact to get the most out of it. Uh, you can start a track just by clicking and dragging in this top view anywhere you like and roughly trace out the design you want. After doing that you can right click or manually come up here and click on this point and you'll enter into the next mode which is to move the nodes around. While doing this you can click different parts of the track, hold shift down and click them and uh, right click to bring up a menu where you can further split those pieces of track to more pieces for further fine tuning. Uh, if I zoom in there you can see what's happening at the polygon level. After getting it roughly right there, you can drag click a few of them, hold shift down and move them up. You can see them moving up into the sky here. This view, the 3D view, you can left click and drag to look around. Uh, if you hold shift down, it'll rotate about that point. And if you use your mouse uh, middle mouse wheel to zoom in and out and hold shift down to accelerate that movement or click the middle mouse wheel and you can drag the whole scene around. You can alternatively uh, use the number pad keys. Um, see the user manual uh, for details about that. Icons up here allow you to fly over the track or drive at the track level or we'll go back to walking around on it. Create an open-ended track, click this icon, and similar to before, just start dragging around. The only difference is the uh, track loops back on itself. Again, right-click to move into this mode, and um, then you can do some special stuff, like as you move around a node, hold the M key, and you'll find nodes of the other tracks light up and you can snap the nodes together. So here we can actually see that uh, these nodes have now snapped to each other. And if we try and locate that, it's right in front of us there. You can see how that looks. You can fine tune that um, by firstly finding those nodes and zoom right in as close as you can and then just lift them up slightly or down slightly and you can make one track appear on top of the other um, you can do it down to the centimeter level and then beyond that if you come up here and click on this icon again you've got a transform window pops up I'm going to add some more features here uh, until I do you've got a couple of others here which are a fairly self-explanatory. Um, you've got the crosshairs in the centre there, you can double click wherever you like and that determines where we're going to resize around. And then it's just right click and drag away from or towards that uh, axis. Um, got other features here which is going to be fairly self-explanatory. Um, same with rotate, you've got options to rotate the track um, you can change how much you want to rotate by or you can simply do it with your mouse and uh, that's about all the beginner features I'll cover in this tutorial